Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and those cross-watching. We're going to take a look at your tarot love messages here. So the reading today is going to center on why did they ghost you? So why did he or she um, ghost you, you know, and uh, pulled off the ultimate uh, magician's act and just dis disappeared and dissipated into the um, into thin air here. Um, this reading is going to be general, so please guys just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here. Um, so with all of that being said, let's give the cards a shuffle and let's take a look at their energy, whether the two of you are still connected or you know why he or she pulled away or whether perhaps the two of you might have a, uh, the opportunity to reconcile and possibly reestablish what you once had. Okay, Temperance, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, Ooh, the Five of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Hierophant. Okay, I feel like this person has showed up as the Queen of Wands in your tarot reading, and I feel like this is someone whom you're, um, this person's energy, this person whom you were dealing with feels very very they feel very confident here very assured them that of themselves i'm getting a little bit of arrogance as well someone who i feel like maybe is good looking and he or she knows it or someone is just very confident to the point where you know they're quite they're quite sure of themselves um there is regret there is regret they did regret ghosting you here they regret turning their back on you they regret dis disrespecting i'm seeing that there's something here that's happened uh, with regards to you and this person's energy. I'm seeing a lot of mental aggression here with the Knight of Swords or I'm seeing some sort of conflict. Now look, this conflict might not have anything to do with you and this person. It could be internal conflict that this person was dealing with and therefore external factors might have influenced their decision to walk away or to pull away. Okay, So that could be the conflict I'm seeing. It doesn't necessarily mean that the two of you might have had an argument. Uh, for some of you, it might mean exactly that. It might mean that the two of you were on just different the two of you want, weren't a vibrational match for each other at that point um, the two of you might not have seen eye to eye there might have been some sort of disagreement or some sort of misunderstanding or rather miscommunication about something here um, which I feel like has uh, flared things up between the two of you and I feel like it's played some sort of role in them pulling away or them you know pulling the ultimate magician's act here I can see with the three of pentacles this person is talking about you so just because the, you know this person has ghosted you apologies I do talk with my hands and I'm knocking things over here um, as I was saying just because this person has ghosted you it doesn't mean that you know they've just cut you out of their life entirely you are on their mind still and your name is on their lips so this person is there's a connecting energy to this person who feels very close to them and I feel like this person talks to you, uh, they talk about you to this person, and this person offers some sort of advice. Um, this person may, uh, I feel like they're offering, it's sort of like they're a mentor, or they're a really good friend to this person's energy, and they're offering some advice, or I feel like this person wants to come back into your life, or they either want to come back and apologize maybe, especially with the Hierophant's energy here, or this person may want to come back and uh, communicate Okay, they may want to come back and communicate because look, the Two of Cups tells me all is not lost. So what you've had with them, I don't feel like, you know, that's gone completely. I am seeing unfinished business and I'm also seeing that this person feels this type of way as well. They feel like there's still some sort of thread that connects the two of you together. So just because the two of you aren't together now at this point in time doesn't mean that you won't be together in the future because the angel he... Um, that's suggesting to us, that's actually a reminder to be a little bit patient. Sometimes in life, things play out, not necessarily according to our timeline. So just because something isn't happening the way that you want it to happen, or it's not happening at the exact time that you want it to happen, doesn't mean it's not going to happen for you at all. I am seeing that something between you and he still needs to play out. So maybe the potential of this connection hasn't been fully realized. Um, I feel like maybe he or she feels like they have unfinished business and they want to come back into their into your life here to maybe 
for some of you it's closure this is what this person is going to come back into your life it's closure it's forgiveness it's it's an apology it's um, you know they, they want to be held accountable for their actions and they will make themselves accountable for their actions for others of you I feel like this person may very well want a new beginning or they they have strong feelings of regret and they feel like um, they've missed an opportunity with you they feel like the two of you could have really been something that they, they saw they see or they saw a future with you here and they feel as though they never really got a chance to explore this with you so it's very likely that this person here there's definitely an attraction let me tell you that there's definitely an intense physical attraction a lot of chemistry here this person is extremely attracted to you uh, so for some of you maybe this is what sort of um is keeping you together here or uh, what sort of what's keeping you connected here rather but temperance um, is uh, a strong indicator of being patient here being patient um, don't sit around and wait for this person or if you are going to sit around and wait for this person maybe give yourself a timeline but rather I feel like use this time to focus on you okay use this time to focus on you because this person is going to I do feel like this person is going to come back into your life but again I mean that might happen months could even happen a year on from now so um, I don't feel like you should sit around and wait for this individual I also feel like this person needs some they need to work through some sort of conflict again I don't know if it's exterior conflict it could be conflict concerning their career environment maybe this person um, needs to improve their financial situation maybe this person needs to um, you know get their career sorted before they actually enter a relationship so just because it wasn't meant to be in them it doesn't mean that it's not meant to be in the future okay keep that in mind and temperance I feel like is a very strong reminder of this here for you um, that conflict needs to be resolved or needs to be worked through Again, I don't know if it's internal conflict or it's external conflict that has impacted them and their decision to walk away from you. There is a lot of regret with the Five of Cups. This person regrets here. Um, regrets turning their back on you. This person feels as though they've really disappointed you here. They keep, um, they keep uh, playing something over and I feel like it's just... For some of you, there was... You went out on a special date with this individual. I feel like it's a cute, cozy restaurant that you went to. I feel like this person still frequents this restaurant. Or when, when, they're, when they're there within that area, that proximity, this person thinks about you a lot here. They're constantly reminded of you here. Um, they've let you down and they know it. They've let themselves down in the process as well. This person disappointed you. I feel like, yeah, they've ghosted you. But I feel like, why do I feel like the situation is a little bit different? It's... It's not like, for some of you, okay, yeah, maybe this person ghosted you, but I feel like there was, there was something else here. I feel like this person, even before they ghosted you, they felt like they could have done better. Why do I get that feeling? They feel like they feel like they could have done more. They feel like they could have said more. They feel like they could have fought for you more. Or they feel like the two of you, maybe um, with the three of pentacles, for some of you, maybe you were hinting um, to this person that you wanted to attend couples therapy or that... You know, they, they should have uh, seek some sort of professional advice to work on themselves. Maybe that's the conflict. Maybe you identify that inner conflict uh, in them from an, you know, um, earlier on, and you ask them to to seek for some professional advice. That's the message I'm getting here. Because with the threes, I feel like there was somehow. I don't think it's a third party situation, but I feel like there was someone else here who might have somehow helped with the conflict that's coming up here so they feel like they've let you down they feel like they could have done more said more did more here it's important for you to understand though not all is lost okay the two of cups behind him so yeah okay um this person screwed it up or the two of you screwed it up yeah okay it didn't work out the first time it might not even worked out the second or the third time but you have unfinished business to do. The two of you have unfinished business here. Whether this unfinished business means closure, whether it means you know forgiveness and apology, um, making peace with the situation here, there's still something there between the two of you that needs to be worked on. There's still something here that connects the two of you together here. There's something you should be looking forward to with regards to this person's energy. And for a lot of you, I feel like you know this. And I feel like this is, the reading here is only really confirmation or validation of what you already know, or what you already feel. Because you can feel it. You can feel that there is still something that, there's still something worth fighting for. 
you know, they say you have to pick your battles. Um, I do feel like this person or this energy here or this relationship is it's worth fighting for. It is. There's still something there. And you know what? So I feel like I'm only validating. I'm only confirming what you already know or feel here. Um, yeah, there's, there's many... It's important for you to know there's many things that you can still salvage about the situation, okay? So all is not lost, all is not broken, it can be repaired, it can be regained. Um, the attraction is still there, okay? It was a massive fire and it might now only be like a, a flicker of a flame, but it's still there. There's still that connection um, between you and this individual. It's still there. And a lot of you, I feel like, be patient, okay? Especially with the Hierophant and Temperance here, because I feel like when the two of you do connect, and I do see the two of you connecting, but again, I feel like it's, there's an outside help. So either there is a connecting energy around this person who's really vouching. I feel like this person is really vouching. They're not meddling. I feel like this person is giving this person good advice. So it feels like it's a mentor. It could be a father or a mother figure. It could be a parental figure. It could be a professional advisor, such as, you know, a, a psychologist or a counselor here. It could be a good friend, but I feel like this person is older or they feel older and beyond the, wiser beyond their years. This person is vouching for the two of you. So it may very well be something that they say that might put things into the, into perspective for this individual. So I see this individual coming back here into your life. And let me just be very clear when I say this, that the two of you have once you do reconnect, but two of you have a lot of time, a lot of lost time to make up for. Because this person does miss you. They do regret acting the way that they acted. They regret saying something here to you or not saying something here to you. They regret holding back here. Okay, so yes, they've disappointed you, but I can see with regards to their energy, you know, especially with this card here, I feel like they're also, they hurt themselves in the process and they understand that they are planning on reaching out to you. They are planning on communicating. The only thing that really bothers them is whether or not you will respond, whether or not you will reciprocate here, whether or not you will, you know, understand their energy and where they're coming from. Okay guys, and that's all I have for you. Just want to thank you all for watching and listening. Please do show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, sharing. Um, I will be sharing with you more entire love messages throughout the week, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.